Lads and ladies, welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Champions Moneymaker Series 2024. And if you've come here straight from Twitter or the Ultimate Champions Discord, then uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? I've been making videos for years. Where the fuck have you been this whole fucking time? So today, I'm giving away an epic Kwame Poku on Ultimate Champions, but I have to preface this by saying, ain't my Kwame Poku, a lovely individual by the name of Tina Moreno messaged me on Discord saying they were leaving Ultimate Champions and that they'd really enjoyed my videos over the last few years, and they just straight up wanted to give me all of their cards, no strings attached. Which right off the bat, you have to say, what a heart of gold. In a world that is run by the Devil's Nectar, aka cold hard cash money, you have to say, fair fucking play. And uh, Tino didn't want any clout either, but um, I, I guess he's getting a bit from this video, so here's to Tino. Now, honestly, I was expecting Tino to have maybe a couple of cards with 20 to $30 or so, but when checking out his account, he actually had a few decent cards, such as Poku, Mateo, Kipri, Rhodes, and so on. And, you know, I'm not here to be in the business of getting free shit from my lovely viewers, such as yourself. You know, if you sign up through my affiliate links, I can take that as we both come out on top, but I would never just want someone else's spoils and no charge. So Tino and I came up with the grand idea to give away the Kwame Poku Epic card, and I pinged Tino 50 quid on Sower as a little rebate as well, so that's where he's focusing his efforts on going forward. And, you know, I obviously get a bit of free advertising for the channel and some useful cards, so hey, we're all, we're all fucking winners here. Well, you know, except for Latvia, Iceland, and Finland holders, but that's uh, a whole other ballpark. <sighs> So, if you're just here for the Kwame Poku giveaway, I understand. I've pinned the time down below in the comments if you want to skip all the riffraff and get straight to how to enter the giveaway. But for the time being, I have some shit to show you motherfuckers regarding my Ultimate Champions journey. That is what this series is about, after all, and a few big purchases in the account recently. Martinelli, Felix, and Cancelo paying a total of $150 for those three epic cards there. And, uh, you know, let's be honest here, I definitely overpaid against recent market trends by about $25 to $30 or so, but the market is a strange beast right now, and I really needed to improve my Tier 1 Pro lineup, especially especially up top with the forward spot, as you can tell. So these three will go a long way in doing that, which then takes me over to this little Excel spreadsheet I've got here. We all love Excel spreadsheets. And up top, I've got my absolute strongest teams lined up for each division that I primarily enter right now. And looking at T1, it's not bad at all, right? I've replaced Callum Robinson and, you know, some other fucker with Martinelli and Felix. So the improvement is there for all to see. Uh, obviously, granted, Arsenal and Barcelona don't have league matches this weekend, but, you know, going forward, it's a lineup that should be able to push for top 10 placements a decent chunk at the time. So I think paying a little extra on top is a bit of a irrelevant moot point here. Moot, moot point, moot point. Is that a word? Is that a thing people say? My other players in the account have then been utilized more for the upcoming game week. However, we can see here a pretty strong team out in Tier 1 Pro. This is usually my gravy or bread and butter or some other food related fuckery. My best lineup, so to speak. I've got the Bristol Rovers and Peter Trio of Mythics and Epics out in action here with Ricardo Santos, an easy captain choice at the back at home to Cheltenham, although Cheltenham have picked up form under Daryl Clark recently. So an upset is certainly possible there, but uh, I've then utilized my bench with three common spots here. I think I'd rather save my Epics and Mythics for different teams and just use strong common here if I'm allowed to. So I've got this cute little semi-pro five-a-side under 23 team here. Do need a little bit of work on my under 23 portfolio, but for now Bradley will be DNP subbing for a common loco on the bench. I don't really expect much from this team, but uh, you never know. Aziz at the helm as captain there could do well. And then I've got the star team in the main Ultimate Champions division. And uh, you know, it's not like god awful, but don't get it twisted. It's pretty fucking garbage. Uh. A lot of spare mythics here who are running the gauntlet on the cusp of being slightly less than dog shit. So maybe the pure differentials I have on offer here could be jammy and win me a fucking reward or something, but I'm not counting on it. It's not looking likely. And uh, I've then got this final team here, a pro ultimate champions team, much stronger, albeit I'm relying more on those commons a bit here while utilizing the points cap fully outfield. Wirtz is obviously a solid captain choice. And then I'm quite happy with my two forward spots here mostly because I've got Jones and Rhodes, courtesy of Tino. Both those players sitting under a 100 on the points cap and can see from the last five fixtures here, they're both capable of pushing the boundaries a bit if they hit a decisive. So hey, could go well, and I think I've used them to the max capability here. I've still then got some ways to go to smooth out my teams around the edges at the moment, but, you know, certainly a strong backbone for the current fixtures. And as you can see, I've still got like 20k MGC and 15k champ sat in the bank. So your boy's got that splash and cash, you know, at some point if I can fucking figure out what the fuck I'm doing with my life. Got my brain out for the MGC here though, as my plan right now is to save all of my MGC and then right at the start of April when the Elite Zarian begins, I will spunk it all in gold packs for that league. Ah, uh, is that smart? No fucking idea. But Norway is here to stay at least and I'll be honest, I know fuck all about the league so I think putting my hands into the MGC pack gods is the only logical choice here and then the champ can go towards improving my existing teams in the EFL. But how can you improve your existing teams? That can of course be done by winning the epic Kwame Poku giveaway. And I'm about to tell you how to enter, but first let me rick 
Crawl, everyone who went to the comments and clicked on the timestamp. So, uh... but how do you enter? Simply go to the comments and type in your Ultimate Champions Manager name and call me handsome. Or pretty, you know, any variation of how stunningly good looking I am will, will do. But, uh... No, really, uh, just go to the comments, put your Ultimate Champions Manager name in there, and uh, I'm probably just gonna fucking spin a fucking wheel or some shit, see who fucking wins, uh, I'll give it like a fucking week or some shit, and then and then someone's gonna get a nice Kwame Poku epic card, courtesy of Tino, so yeah, good stuff. I'll let you know on Twitter, but until then, I'll catch you next time, because Tino and I love you.